Hi folks, welcome back to Fire Steel Farm. And today I'd like to run you through our perennial garden and our vegetable garden real quick and just kind of let you know what's worked for us this year. Right now it's almost Halloween. We're, we're at the end of the season. Uh, the deer benevolent on everything. You know, it's, it's just that time of year. Leaves are falling, things are drying out, going dormant. And uh, of course you always have that deer pressure. But what's been working for us this year is we, we're finally getting our soil built. We were straight clay and we're finally starting to get our soil built up. In addition to having enough experience now and enough research behind us that we understand how to keep a lot of these things growing strong throughout the season a lot of these plants that we're planting and we've got this year has just been so huge for us as far as a build-up everything from mugwort to motherwort to Japanese iris to you know having over well over 50 roses growing now 50 different rose plants with nine species uh, you know three species of Miranda that are just taking off gooseberries black currants hollyhock I mean you know honey locust Jerusalem artichoke milkweed the list goes on and on and things are just really growing well really taking off somebody that's been a really big inspiration to me this year was P. Allen Smith. I, I really enjoyed. We were hoping to get down to Arkansas and see him this year. That just doesn't look like that's going to pan out. Um, but it's he's got great books. So much, so much information. Uh, you know these these books. I picked up five of his books. These big, beautiful hardcover books. Uh, all the stuff he's got on YouTube. So much fun to watch, so inspiring. And that coupled with all the, all the topsoil, all the compost we're producing and the revenue starting to come in, it's just really starting to click. It's really starting to work out for us. I'll take you over here to the vegetable garden also. Next year we're gonna we're gonna triple this vegetable garden. I'll try and put in a link to our previous garden video. I think it was 2017 or something. Oh, and it was just a feeble attempt, but you don't know until you try. You know, you don't know what you're doing until you really get it going. So I'll try and walk you through here. And you know, being even being this late in the season and the grass is just growing, I just mowed this last week and the grass is just growing so much and you know we still have peas we're still harvesting sugar snap peas i'm not sure if these are sugar snaps or snow peas but we here you know we got some peas still growing everything's just doing great amending the soil we spay we we add compost and we work it in. Um, you know, we take a spade shovel and we dig down at least the depth of the spade shovel to really kind of give those roots a place to go, a, a somewhere to grow. You know, those, those sunflowers, they were only planted, you know, a month and a half ago or so, and they've really taken off. We've got Brussels sprouts that are, we're gonna be getting some Brussels, Brussels sprouts this year. The tomatoes have just gone bananas. So much kale, so many beets, potatoes, lettuce, still growing, corn. We just picked the popcorn. We've got more uh, horseradish over there. We'll be getting you some horseradish, Dave. We'll be grinding that up and jarring it up for you. And here's a, you know, here's a bed of, this is something I just dug up. I just spaded it in, got the sod out of here, amended the soil a little bit with our compost. And, you know, we, the first things we planted, 
I mean, here's some morning glory I planted. They're climbing all over the nasturtium. They're climbing all over the kale, everything. The daikon down here. And we had such a drought, we were also not able to water this garden very much at all. Because we had such a drought this year. But when the water finally did come, this is what happened. I mean, none of this has been watered. It just waited for the, let me get this daikon. It just waited for the uh, rain. You know, not a super impressive daikon, but that's pretty good for us. Especially without adding any water or anything in straight clay soil or what was straight clay soil you know just a couple of years ago so we just wanted to show you kind of what we have going on we're gonna do about triple the size of the garden next year and really try and ramp up production thanks for stopping by oh thanks for stopping by we really appreciate it and we'll see you next time here. We'll see you next time at Fire Steel Farm. Have a great day. Bye-bye, folks.